when we put so I'm coming in, and the reason why I'll, I'll have my suspension, or when I'm mobile, I'll use a chair to give myself some stabilities because literally I've never broken anyone's body, and I don't plan to start today. Um, but I'll come and kind of give an assist because it feels yeah. weird having your hand clasped. Yeah, yeah you're, you're like, eh. trying no, to open it. yeah. <laughs> and what I might do, so I might yeah, even do it. Do yeah, I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna come a little bit higher because when I'm that low, it's a little bit too much. But if I'm kind of right here in the middle of the arm and I come in with a compression, make a fist, bring that fist towards your forearm, open that hand wide, bring it back. Wave like a grandma. There you go. Tight fist. <laughs> forearm. Oh. Urr, and relax. Relax that way. Yeah. So yeah, the first thing I was showing you, just forget about that part because we'll just do it this way because it's safer. So you want to call it that because of the booty floss community? No. Because... I did have to write a paper about like how the the, um, the chemistry of like the blood flow to your system affects your tissue. Yeah. And what was the was general the, uh, thing that you found doing your research? No, it was just more like the different nitrogen ions moving through the blood. Yeah. So if we were to be using um, some kind of pressure, you know, I forgot the like I wrote this like two weeks or three weeks ago. So I'm like, what? Good know. stuff. This is always hurting on people. A little ligament right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Oh yeah, especially with that massage therapy hand for sure. Let's go lefty though. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey, some of us are left-handed. <laughs> I am left-handed. Me too. Hey. High five. Nice. I'm slowly, like, ridiculously slowly coming out. If you come out of these deep, deep compressions too fast, it's it's too much. We'll be like ah. So right now, how is your hand feeling as opposed to how it's feeling coming in? It's like you notice a difference tight. in the hand rather than just the forearm? Yeah, I feel like it's not as tight right here. Right. Nice. So that is how I work. Instead of using my fingers, that's how I work that kind of stuff. So at this point, I've already done that stuff. So I'm going to come in, and this is when I would relax this. I might come in and just work our arm and hand a little bit, right? Especially on massage therapists. I don't know. There's a lot of people that need opening of the hand. But we'll work these like fan lines of the hands, right? So the fan lines of the hand are similar to the, the fan lines of the feet. They're just coming out of each finger, coming through here. Point, I'm going to do some nice traction overhead. Nice traction down below. And as I'm tractioning, we're opening up that neck a little bit. Even traction. It's kind of slidey. So, I mean, at this point, I mean, you could do any of the stuff you wanted to do, right? How about this side of the arm? Ooh, girl. Yeah. I garden on top of that. Carpentry and all kinds of things. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. All of my tissue uh, tightness is from know, either gardening. I had to use my foot scrubber to get my, my weed weed stains off my hand from picking weeds yesterday. I was at the, the nice. ring store and I was like, oh my God, I'm teaching a class tomorrow and I've got green a green <laughs> finger from pulling weeds. Yeah. I swear, I had to like buff it off with my like, I was like, I can't have this on camera. I get sandpaper. Yeah, it's basically what it is, my little foot buffer. Yeah. I was like, this is sanitary. So I can tell hers is super tight. Um, so I'm just kind of coming through and giving just some little short compressions to warm it up so it's not so rough. Basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come right above her wrist. And I am sinking in, depending on, like if I'm back too far and I'm pushing her arm's just gonna slide and then she's gonna feel like she needs to brace it. So I come up to where the angle, you'll figure out where that angle is that fits right. Sometimes I even use just my 
couple of fingers here to just hold in place. Robert's a mag magician. He doesn't even, his is always perfect, but. What do you mean? Whenever you do this, it like never slides. It's always just, I mean, he's also been doing it for like 10 years longer than I have. Feels nice. I can feel it breaking up. Mm hmm So it's moving super slow, super boring to watch. Like if you were to make a TikTok of this, you'd have to put it on the three times the speed thing. Yeah, it's like, are you moving? Yeah. But then you just put some super fun music to it. <laughs> okay, so I was doing one where my best friend was in. I was giving her a free session because she's been working on her house since like August. My dog is there. She's talking and she's doing something with her hands. And it was like a Cheech and Chong, I think. I'm not sure what it was. But it was like, beep, beep. like you could hear someone's like pushing buttons on a phone. And so it was like moving with her hand. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> and then it's like, at one point, it's like, they're saying some stuff, and at the end, she's like, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> and it was literally like, that was one of my silly TikToks I've made that like got a bunch of views and got me a client booked immediately. And I was like, yeah. that is so ridiculous. That one took me literally seconds to, I think it may have like, for some reason, pulled that up. And I was like, oh, this is random. This works. And you just put it together and boom. Cool. Fun video. That makes oh, no wow. sense. Felt that in my middle finger. Mm-hmm. This is when I'd be like, well, so you feel it a little bit, another pass a little closer to the, to the bone here, a little more lateral, or do you feel it a little more medial? Medial. Medial? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I feel this big old chunky thing here. Yeah. Cool. So I'll do a second pass. Looks slow and boring. How's it feel? Feels amazing. It hurts a little bit, but it's like little that bit. edge from sparkling pain. Mm-hmm. But sometimes when you're super inflamed, I mean, I'll just be like, do it. I know. And my feet I are kicking around. It's still harder, but <laughs> I don't know if I can take it. I sunk in a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Every time I go for a massage, I tell them, like, put as much time as you want and can on my forearms. They can't. And they don't. It's hard with that table. Yeah. It really is. That's yeah. the big limit. Because like I, I do the same thing. I understand. And then yeah. Had, you get the you get a massage therapist, and you're like, well, fuck. I'm using my hands now. That are all and busted already. Hands. Yeah. I'm trying to throw an elbow in, but this hurts. And yeah. Your like, right side that bothers you. Yeah. Lay on your your ass back for a minute. Yeah, so you're doing a lot of compressions. Demonstrating. Oh. Hey, you have done before. Oh yeah. I've I've had trouble with those because it's like, so the way I would do it is I would just come in, with my elbow and find, find what I need, do some movements, whatever. But if I wanted to come in, either I would do that or I would come in with my knee. And then what was the problem you had with the arm? Uh, I was using my thumb tool to be it, able to um, shear it. It's um, like a really 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 mm, I bet that's nice. Sounds nice. Okay. Is that a good spot there? Yes. All right. Um, Is this too much? Not like a no. real injury. Just there like you go. Nothing like super mm. I got the best thing out of that here. <laughs> Do you get like pain in the shoulder all the time? I get it from like my neck, like right, right, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, I've got one of those. I used to, I used to work in a um, poker hall. Worst job ever. <laughs> so it sucks you can't feel anything, right? <laughs> like a different grip. Oh yeah. So this is probably yeah. the, the root. It's like what I do on people's feet. Yeah, I just want you to yeah. feel. Yeah. Never like now you're not having to use your thumb as hard. Yeah, and also you're not like risking damaging your thumb, like it's protected. Nope, it's straight downward pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a strong neck, so I can't really feel my bones actually. Yeah, I'm feeling so much relief from my forearm. And this one or hit the other one, the right one? Yeah, yeah. well both. <laughs> but it's like I feel my eyelids getting heavy. <laughs> like my forearm's been really wrecked because of CrossFit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like CrossFit tears me up more than actually. All that gripping. Yeah. It's That's like why you have to floss, dude. It's like the kipping. Um, oh yeah. Kipping I can't even. I won't. I won't even kip. Uh -huh. What is that? It's when you're like popping. Warming. Oh. What are you saying? Warming up the. Um, it's like it's like a warming. Machine. I mean, isn't kipping where you're like popping your legs back and forth, yeah. so you can do those, so you can do muscle ups. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So they're like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do it because I refuse to mess up my hands. I would do it. Yeah. But whenever I was doing CrossFit, that's when I had to buy the Voodoo Floss to try to like help with my tent, my elbow inflammation. It was mad. So, if I'm right there, like, so after I do all this stuff with this arm, 
instead of going over there and doing the crossbody pull, I would just go ahead while I'm here and pull this arm, right? Because I don't, so I used to do that and I'm like, why am I doing that? It's not too bad right here. It's the junction that a lot of therapists will have a lot of issues. I didn't ever do and then to finish, you know, I would then go on the other side and do the same thing. Yeah. So do you want to do the same thing on that side since I've already done this side? We did pectoral. So I'll, I'll do it at the same time with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 go for it. So from there, can you, so we did compression pecs and down to arms and hands. Yes, yeah, so first it was like warming up. Okay. Well, I guess actually the first was coming in for the abdominal stuff, right? Yeah. So you did the clock. clock uh huh. <laughs> I mean, you're, you do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you're more familiar with this, but look at this. So the way I do it is like a wave, right? So. Oh, yeah. So I would do like uh -huh. heel to heel to finger. Heel to finger? Okay. Yeah. And then tingles? Or? Just a little like coldness. Yeah. Not too much. And then pick up and then do, yeah. Is that a little deeper? Mm. Feel good? Feels good. Am I pretty light? It feels the same as hers. Good. Okay. See how this would be a good time to work the psoas because you're already here and you could use like your elbow <laughs> or your hand to come in and just like warm the psoas up. Also be a distraction like you said. Mm -hmm. uh. How did you position 